Hello, everyone. This is Adam Meister, the Coin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Welcome to the One Bitcoin Show. Today is November the 4th, 2020. The virus is gone. Strong hand, long term thinking, five digit realm. Bitcoin is the next Bitcoin, unconfiscatable. This is where the big boys play, dudes. All right. You didn't get your way in an election or something. Life freaking goes on. And I am offended by selling. And don't FOMO and alts. We'll talk about some alts uh, today, too. All right, dudes. Hello, my elite friends. How you doing today? If you have questions, and I do hope you have questions, because I love to answer your questions. I have answers. Type in Bitcoin Meister or just do a super chat, something that will get my attention. All right, dudes. Let us uh, – Let's start off with the big news of the day. Uh, this is not a Beyond Bitcoin show, but we'll get into some Beyond. Obviously, there was a big uh, election yesterday in the United States. And for all those people who hate on the United States, the entire world cares about our election. There's no other election that the world cares about. Uh, yeah. So if you ever do doubt the uh, dollar supremacy or the supremacy of the United States, just see yesterday and, and just see how i mean everybody worships the united states and they put these people on pedestals it, it's it's too ridiculous level i mean the united states is best it's the best country um but uh, the way they they look upon the united states it's un unbelievable anyway the uncertainty i was concerned about uncertainty in, in uh terms of the election okay i said on tone's show yesterday i've been saying on my show that I didn't think uh, that the night last night would end and you would not know who won and that it could go on for quite some time and that the financial markets could freak out because of that. Now, I did stay up very late last night. I, I let myself that I, I tell everyone, do not become obsessed with politics. Do not waste time on politics. Yesterday was or last night only was my political time i you know i just wanted to figure out the situation because it does it deals with i mean it affects your finances to, to say the least if we were going to have insane turbulence and it became quite clear late last night that joe biden will become the next president of the united states of america um the once you, you start to see the way the absentees were going to come in and you're familiar with inner city, you know, the, when you're familiar with places like Milwaukee, Detroit, Philadelphia, and if their absentee votes aren't counted yet, well, you know who they're going to swing to. Okay. I'm from Baltimore. And I, I know how this works. And the markets actually, you know, Bitcoin started doing better. The gambling market started uh, showing that uh, Biden was going to win. You, we, we, there has not been an official claim yet, but it's pretty obvious who won. And the financial – and you're seeing it in the numbers. The uncertainty that I was worried about is not there. Now, some of you are going to say, well, we don't know who the president is. We well, no. It, it's not the same type of situation that I was anticipating where it could go to inauguration day. Oh, oh they cheated here. They cheated. There's nothing tremendously obvious that the, the Trump team can sue about. Um, and, and you can see in the price of Bitcoin, it's it's great. We're in the five-digit realm. There was not even a threat to the five-digit realm. 14,000, maybe that'll be the new normal for you fiat freaks out there. So, it, you're again, some are going to say no clear results. Um, the the results are pretty clear at this point. Uh, what they, what, 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 how it's going to end up. All right. Some of you might not like that. Um, you don't put these dudes on pedestal. If if you're if you're crying over politics, let me tell you something. The set. The, first of all, the pollsters, uh, the the poll people, they're not they're not good. Okay, they don't do a great job at this stuff. They got the Senate wrong. Also, the Republicans will keep the Senate, so there's not going to be any radical shift in the way that government is constructed. There are not going to be new states. There's not going to be Supreme Court packing. And that's already priced in too. That's why the price didn't drop a, a big core. That's why we we haven't had financial Armageddon like we could have. P because people know, understand, yeah, you've got a leftist president 
but a Senate that is controlled by the Republicans, that's checks and balances. Most people don't know how the United States government works. We have all these screaming Karens who want a dictator to tell them what to do. No, the person who wins presidency, the presidency does not become the dictator. That's not how it works. <laughs> There's the legislative branch too, and it's uh, the Senate is staying Republican. The, and so people go, well, but not a lot's going to get done. Well, great. We don't want a lot. You don't want government changing everybody's uh, – trying to interfere in everyone's lives. Now, we'll talk about some few, some policy makers that might get uh, thrown up there and stuff. Uh, so I think we, we probably can say pretty confidently now that Bitcoin – when I, you know, I've been yelling about five digit realm, that it was a state of mind that, you know, sometimes we went back into the four digit realm. Sometimes we went into the five digit realm. I don't, I don't see anything that can, uh, you know, current event wise that can take Bitcoin back down to the five digit realm below the five digit realm. This is probably the new normal for Bitcoin. So you should be happy about that. Um, you know, if, if when Biden has to resign or when Biden is kicked out by it, when when Queen Kamala, the 25th, takes over. Does anyone get that? She'll, she'll use the 25th Amendment to get rid of him. But whatever, whatever happens, because he's not making it through all, all four years, that's going to cause some turbulence. But by then, Bitcoin will be very well established uh, in, in the five digit realm. And we don't know when that's going to happen. I mean, that, that could happen as soon as the, the first part of – I've said that they might bring up this, the new the, – that she, the, vice pre, the future vice president, might use the news about the former vice president's son – we can't say his name, um, unfortunately – to, to bring down uh, Biden, to bring him down. Uh, she, she, she'll do anything. She'll, she's cutthroat. She's, she'll be – she'll – and – yeah, some people will like yeah you know, that's that's internal politics we really don't have to worry about that i don't think that's gonna uh freak uh the financial markets out uh, that much i mean it, it depends on how it will happen but let's not i mean this is the bitcoin show one bitcoin show so let's talk about bitcoin um um i i think scattered i, I wrote all this down over time so it's not gonna be the best uh so yeah bottom line for everybody in the united states and everybody in the world okay since uh Things aren't going to be that much different from 2019 in, in 2021 and on the streets, okay? We're not going to have some of the craziness that we, we saw in 2020. These, these little babies are going to be satisfied because they're so ignorant at the, of the way that politics works, and they're so not in control of their own lives. They're going to be happy that there's a Democrat as president, be it a, a, a female or a male, whoever, you know, if she becomes president sooner than later. Um you know, some, some of these 80 percenters out there that aren't going to be crying anymore, they're, the one difference is they're not going to have as much freedoms uh, as they had in 2019. They, they, a lot of them have given up their freedoms in terms of their, their uh, you know, taking care of their, their, their health. Uh, it, the golden age will continue, okay? You, you don't have to opt in to worry about all the nonsense that the screaming Karens worry about. You can have a 2019 life again. I mean, some of us have a 2019 life right now, all right. But I, I really don't think uh, I don't I don't think 2021 is going to be too you know similar to the way 2020 was. I I think clearly we're seeing uh, the virus. Was it in news? Was it in the news today at all? If it's so serious, why wasn't it on any of the headlines on CNN? Or Fox, or this, or that. Of course, I mean, this was predictable. People asked me when the virus ended. Yeah, it ended today. Now, he might try, Biden will try to do some things to make it look like that he got rid of it, possibly, because naturally the cases are going to go, the deaths and the cases are going to go down starting at the, you know, next year anyway. So he'll try to claim credit for it. It's, it, it's all noise. You don't have to be worried about viruses or anything. Clearly, clearly. Pound that like button, everybody. Yesterday's show, I was outside and I just put that in the chat for all the dudes that are watching right now. And Bitcoin Motorist is in the house. Dude, it's good to see you, man, over here. Uh, all right. So let's uh, let's see what's next on the agenda. I, I, took, I talked too much about politics there, uh, but it, it was a big story, obviously. And yes, guys, all you people who are obsessed with politics, today was another 2020 high. Another day, another 2020 high for you fiat freaks, all right? It's what, – what's it right now? It's jumping around the, the 14,000s. 
And the reason it got above 14,000 is because the mark, they know it, it's not going to go too, too crazy in terms of who, who's the real president. It's, it's going to be pretty obvious pretty soon. Now, it, it, I mean, it, it's people who can think ahead, it's obvious. It's, it's obvious. Uh, now, there's one, I mean, unless there's something so freaking ridiculous, like corruption beyond compare that takes it to a whole, I mean, in 2020, anything could be expected. Like, seriously, like, like the Chinese paid off XYZ to burn certain ballots in Detroit. I mean, just, just what? that's not happening though, okay? That's the only thing that could uh, change the results right now, but the... the <laughs> It's not happening. All right. Now, e Ethereum 2.0 article here, December 1st. It is to launch Ethereum 2.0. Now, there's so many people that love – people that are very impulsive and short-term thinkers in the, uh, the Bitcoin space, the cryptocurrency space. They say, well, you know, Ethereum and DeFi had a bad October. It's dead. It's dead. You, you got to remember, this. it's a newsworthy thing they can build around if they pull off Ethereum 2.0. And proof of uh, proof of stake, um, it, it it will do well. It will do well. It's not dead. It's it's far from dead. The DeFi thing is far from dead. There are ebbs and flows. Okay, sometimes it seems one thing's more. There's a whole hunk of people working on it. You don't have to care about it. You shouldn't care about it. If you're a Bitcoin holder, you shouldn't wish bad things upon it. You shouldn't be screaming Ethereum's dead. You sound silly. You sound silly. When you're, when you're screaming things like the number two cryptocurrency on the planet by far is dead. All right. It's not, I mean, read all, it's, they're doing things over there. there. There's the funny thing. I saw a tweet that said something like, oh, Bitcoin. So it was a joke. I think it was Zach Ball put this out there. Bitcoin so far ahead. It's only on the Bitcoin 1.0 and they're not even dreaming of Bitcoin 2.0. And yeah, that's, that's awesome. That because that's the difference. Bitcoin does not change. You build on a base like that to have a huge Overhaul like this is not very Bitcoin like, but that's the thing. Compete, don't complain. Some people love huge overhauls when they can totally redesign the way a, a, a cryptocurrency works. Great. Let's see how it works out there in the wild in terms of Ethereum. All right. Now, this week in Bitcoin is Friday, 1.30 New York time. Guy, Guy Swan will be on. Old Ugly Goat will be on. And Nick from – he's from Bitcoin Magazine, right? Is Nick the – he's a he's – Nick's awesome. He was on only once before. He's a really young guy, and uh, I love having him. I'm, I'm great. It's, we're going to have a contrast. Uh, oh, uh, ugly old goat is not the youngest dude in the world, and Nick is young. And uh, the guy Swan is just in, in the freaking prime of his life, pounding that like button, no doubt about it, every night. Anyway, whatever that might mean. <laughs> so, uh, and he will talk about some tactical stuff that you guys uh, love. Uh, when I when I've got Guy Swan, so get those tech questions in there for him on Friday, 1.30 New York time is this week in Bitcoin. And make sure you watch last week's. It was good. John Matonis reminds us, uh, well, points this out. This didn't, because the election was going on, Singapore to stop issuing a $1,000 note to reduce risk of money laundering and terrorism, terrorism financing. And he says this leaves the Swiss $1,000 franc and the Brunei ten thousand dollar bill. He's talking about large denominated bills. If you, in, in in relatively big country, Brunei is not a major currency. Swiss Swiss franc is though. So the Swiss franc still have their thousand uh, thousand franc note, but now Singapore is getting rid of the thousand dollar note. And of course, here in the United States, the biggest we have is a hundred dollar bill. We used to have it a five, five, long ago, five hundred dollar bill, but and a thousand dollar bill, right? Uh, and, and that's just another re Bitcoin. That's uh, that's cash right there, right? That's just as just as good as free, better than cash. Okay, so if you're worried about your your country getting rid of its bills, that's being big, being digital cash. Okay, but yeah, it's true. They are all gradually, you know, we've seen it in Australia for a while. They try, the, the overreach in Australia is amazing. You know, in terms of the buyers, in terms of the money. But this is a trend we've seen for a while. And yeah, eventually the 1,000 uh, Swiss franc will be gone too. Yeah, eventually, of course, of course. I mean, all cash, physical cash, most physical cash in uh, you know modern countries will be gone. And that's why you'll be happy to have that Bitcoin. Now, because they can't control that. 
They can do a darn great job of controlling their own freaking cash that they print, of course. So don't cry about it. Now, so speaking about con – I, I want to introduce you to a name that you should be familiar with. I, I, I referenced it before. Lyle Brainard. Lyle Brainard is one of the candidates to become Joe uh, Biden's Treasury Secretary. Of course, Elizabeth Warren's name is out there. She's begging to be it. I mean, maybe she should do what Kamala does. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I didn't even imagine that. Oh, God. And now, uh, don't, don't pull Willie, Willie Brown on uh, Joe there. Uh, I'm sure Joe would love it if you, if you, uh, if Elizabeth uh, did, did the, the Kamala Willie Brown thing on him. But uh, no. So the, we got this Lyle lady out there too, and she's she might be the favorite. And uh, Nick Carter tweeted about it. He says, the next big catalyst I'm watching, whether Brainard or Warren stands to get the uh, Treasury Secretary position. So th there could be a big uh, reaction in Bitcoin when, when that happens. Every I was I, I won. Uh, OK, a lot. Andy Hoffman here tweets about Stephanie Kelton, who she's the woman that loves MMT and tried to engage Bitcoiners to you know, promote herself. You know, trying to argue with Bitcoiners so she becomes more famous. Okay, that's great. You know, and you, and you fall for it, but she's not going to be Treasury Secretary. There's some people that think that. Andy kind of joked about it, um, but he, his joke was like, "What happens when they name Stephanie uh, Calton uh, Treasury Secretary to Bitcoin?" Well, it will be similar to when they name uh, Brainard or or Warren, and I think it's going to be uh, Brainard. That that the price of big that these women they happen to be women, all three of them. Uh, you're not going to like their fiscal policies if you're in 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 the dollar, okay? You're not going to like it at all. But you should be valuing you should be in Bitcoin, and yeah, they'll help destroy the dollar. That's good for Bitcoin. Now they won't fully the Bitcoin the dollar will never be fully destroyed because all the other countries are going to follow our lead, and they'll come up with their own versions of uh, Stephanie Kelton and, and Elizabeth Warren and Brainard. Now, I, you know, speaking about Elizabeth Warren, her vicious uh, what she brought to the table. Her vicious wealth tax thing, it's not going to happen because of Mitch McConnell, all right, and because of the Senate. There's not going to be anything close to the wealth tax that could could have happened had the, the Senate uh, – had, had the polls been right, <laughs> that the Senate was going to go Democrat, okay? So just another, another thing to be happy about if some of you are unhappy uh, about uh, – is you have to remember, there's checks and balances in the system. It's not a dictator. President isn't the biggest thing in the world. And uh, let me see. Any type in Bitcoin, Meister. I see people uh, talking about nonsense, and never you guys can uh, ask me a question. Um. And all right, let me get back. Get back to where I once belonged. Now. So we talked about these ladies that might become the Treasury Secretary and then the one that's not. Uh, but she's going to have influence. Stephanie Kelton will have influence within that administration since Bernie Sanders is going to have uh, <laughs> some sort of uh, influence. They're not going to be able to take it to the extremes, dudes. Like people were worried about. That's why 2021 will look a lot like 2019 in a lot of ways. Now they're – and uh, Nick Carter's got a good one out here. I, did, I want one other Nick Carter tweet I want to share. Thoughts and prayers to people who use politics as an outlet for their tribal impulses instead of sports as God intended. Arguing over, and he says arguing over internet coins is also acceptable. But but funny, yes, there are <laughs> there are so many people that are just getting that collectivist. Uh, this is very you know, the collectivism is a default. So there. They're very angry about the results of the election. They're getting this tribal stuff in there. But he does make an illusion that they're financial tribes now also. And uh, as I, I mentioned in my financial tribe video that you can check the archives out, that this is a whole new uncharted territory. And uh, to see how financial tribes behave, that Bitcoin is a, is, is a financial tribe and people are going to get uh, very defensive about it. And it might have – who knows? It might help spread the word about the – Bitcoin. All right. Now, it could be a positive. I, I don't I don't encourage people to become uh, tribal over Bitcoin, to at least to take it to that uh, Bitcoin Inquisition level, which is just, you know, you're starting getting sick in the head. You're like these people who, you know, start screaming and crying when uh, 
Clinton lost last time. Notice how this time the Trump has lost. You're not going to see you know, the emotional reactions to the extreme that you saw with, with Clinton that lasted years and years. You're just not going to see that. Just tells you a little bit about the situation. Cynthia Loomis, who is known as the crypto future crypto senator, future Bitcoin senator, she won. She won in Wyoming. She's going to become one of the 100 senators. There are only 100 senators. So people, it, it's a good thing that she likes Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's good. But I, I linked to an article below from the state of Wyoming. And if you do a Google News search on Cynthia Loomis and Bitcoin, you see that Cynthia Loomis has won. She's won her Senate seat. But only the Bitcoin publications, only the cryptocurrency publications talk about her cryptocurrency as life, okay? In all the other publications, they don't even mention Bitcoin at all and her. They're just like she won. She's the Republican represent – one of the Republican senators from uh, Wyoming. So – it, it's an, it, yeah. There are a lot of people that think she's going to you know, change the bit. Well, I don't know if there are a lot of people, but I hope she can do something. But don't get too excited about it because when you hear about her in our space, the pitch she's making to us is it's about cryptocurrency. But clearly, the major pitch she's making to her citizens and to the to, to the mainstream media has nothing to do with Bitcoin at all. They don't even talk about it. Now, I did notice on Twitter. One of the promoted tweets, this was paid for. Be careful, but this is a, this is a, a bullish sign that some ridiculous, uh, I'm not going to name them because I don't want to help them. We are waiting crypto market. We are waiting for a crypto market fall. How to make money on it. Subscribe to us. <laughs> oh, my. But, hey, that's showing up now that people want to waste money advertising on Twitter for that. Okay. That's Four years ago, that, that wasn't happening. Coin, what's this Coin Telegraph article? Bitcoin sees record 100 days above a 10K. Yeah, I already talked about that. So if you want to read about a generic uh, crypto article about that, that's linked to below. I'd rather hear from Adam Meister's freaking energetic, in motion, unique beast mouth. All right. So we talked about Stephanie Kelton and that Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoiners should be happy that Stephanie Kelton's going to have influence. It's going to help us. It's not going to help those people that value their wealth in dollars, though. And yes, I, I, I wanted to mention that the virus headlines uh, have, have stopped. There'll be some again. Uh, but, and I talked about the, yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the, main, the mainstream media, their narratives, okay? Um, I mean, it, it creates a lot of hysteria. They created a, a soap, a bread and circus uh, soap opera around the virus. They created, they uh, created it around the election. Okay, uh, so just the media-driven virus narrative, and Biden won the election. Okay, that's fine. Now they can just go on to something else. There'll be some other noise to distract you. And we don't know what what's going to be next. So just be happy in your Bitcoin. You see how it works. That the how the polls are hyped up. Oh, you know, it just don't don't get too much to these soap operas. They're going to continually do it. There's so many so many eighty percent of distractions out there. So many, uh, but that can be turned it on and off whenever they want to. And when I, it's the mainstream media, so ignore them. Be in the Bitcoin overlay. And. We, you know, when we're talking about, I just want to give an example of uncertainty and how it affects the uh, financial markets. When Trump last night gave that speech, which was a little odd, um, that said, you know, I basically won. That that, that the, the price of Bitcoin, the, the, the market started dropping, man. Okay, because that that was uncertainty. That that was weird. That's you, you don't usually have something like. That. But it things became clearer. Okay. And it's, it's clear that we're in, in the clear realm right now. He might say some other wacky things out there, but it, it really uh, – it, it can't change the traje the clear trajectory that is out there. And for the people that do want to nitpick every little aspect of you know, the counting of the poll, the counting of the, the, of the absentee ballots in these uh, – inner cities and whatnot, I, I, I just, 
I don't think it's worth it. I really, I don't, again, unless it's something totally obvious, something insanely corrupt, it's not going to make um, a difference here. The way everything was set up, set up because of the media narrative, uh, it scared people into not wanting to go. Certain people who are more likely to vote left were scared to not go to the polling stations. So they sent in absentee ballots. And maybe because of the virus, probably because of the virus, more people voted this year. I mean, it was just, it was something to do. It was something to do. It was easy to do. They learned about absentee ba ballots and that's what happened. So yeah, the absentee ballots are going to fa not favor the president. Let's, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. This uh, We could talk about this uh, on uh the, the, this weekend for the Beyond Bitcoin show. Oh, I, I want to talk about the blockchain voting noise. Brock Pierce was on the Tone show when I was on there. The, I was on Tone show yesterday twice at the very end and I don't know, in the middle. Okay, I, I got like five words in there because some uh, liberal dude, uh, what was it? That, that Moats guy, that Moats guy. Oh my God, what a, what a worshiper. What a guy who puts uh, politicians on pedestals. I mean, that dude, uh, I would not, I guess he's a traitor or something. I wouldn't listen to a word that guy has to say. My God, that is just an emotional <laughs> worshiper of politics. Like he was so, this guy must have been, been like getting sick over the last four years. So I, I said something and then he just like, sorry, he started rambling about Arizona. And then I was like, frick, I'm just like <laughs> DMing people. <laughs> It was good. I used my time on Tone Show to uh, to network. Actually, that Einstein guy is going to be on my show uh, eventually. But uh, so so what? And I did get to the Bcash four kit. Sorry, people. I hope you play this in two X. But Brock Pierce was on the show. He he's a he was a presidential candidate. He's going to run again. He's talking okay that. But he started talking about voting in the blockchain. All this gobbledygook voting in the blockchain, which you just knew there were going to be eighty percent of articles about that today. And of course there were. I mean, because that that that's been that's cyclical too. We've been hearing voting blockchain so long, dude. Such and, and Jimmy and Tone were just holding back, man. They even said that they they usually are ripping on it, and they they could they could rip on it if they wanted to. But they were they were uh, Brock is you know Brock is a professional actor, so he's he's very good talker, and he can make anything sound legitimate. So he made it sound real nice and everything, but. There wasn't much. I don't think there was su like if Jimmy and Tone would have dug more, and which they basically threatened to do. Uh, there's not that much substance beneath it. Um, you know, Bitcoin over blockchain, people. It, it's such noise. But of course, in terms of it, when we're in election season, they're going to be talking about blockchain voting. <laughs> no, that that's not that 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 wouldn't have made Trump win, people. Okay. <laughs> All right, now. Uh, B, B cash fork. Yes, it's coming up on November 15th. It's really just going to be a minor crypto dividend of B cash. And if you want to read about it, follow George Donnelly. If you care about B cash, I don't know that many people do. George Donnelly, who I've had on the show before, he used to be the Dash guy. Now he's the B cash guy down in South America. You got it. He speaks uh, what he thinks to be true. He speaks his mind. And yeah, if you if you care about this Bcash fork, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, it's yeah, if you're in that community, I guess you got to worry about it. You got to think about it. But it, it's just a, it's it's a minor thing. B, Bcash will continue. There's going to be a new Bcash coin, eight percent tax coin, whatever you want to call it, Amari coin, and that's it. And Trezor isn't supporting it, so they're not going to be able to split it on that. I, I'm not going to give any advice. I don't know why anyone even owns BB Cash now. Okay, now I, I did want to say everyone I, I, was screaming about the Florida results. How could minorities? How could a minority person vote for evil Trump? And I just want to give a a clap out there for all the individuals in the minority community um, and just, no, you don't have to be part of a herd just because you're black or just because you're Hispanic. And 
it appears more than ever that uh, in certain states, at least Florida, that that demographic is breaking away from the political herd mentality. And it, it, it is a shame that certain groups are stereotyped for being a uh, herd mentality for, for like everything. And you no, know, just because you're a minority, you, be an individual, create your own game plan. And that was, that was an example of that uh, yesterday. Okay. Oh, PayPal here. PayPal raises the buying, PayPal raises crypto buying limit to $15,000 a week uh, for eager customers. Yes. They, apparently, well, first of all, they've been rolling it out slowly. You can buy $10,000 of quote unquote Bitcoin a week. So they, they're, they're upper echelon C-level people, people uh, in charge of, of PayPal. They realized a lot of potential here. Open the door for already opening the door for $15,000. Well, I mean, one Bitcoin is going to be worth the 15000 soon, hopefully. Pound that like button. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's bullish whenever uh, – this, the, the normies have the ability to even use cash to buy even more sort of Bitcoin. <laughs> but it really isn't Bitcoin, but they're going to think they own Bitcoin. But you get the picture. It's bullish. I, I was happy to hear that. Uh, get, get rid of all limits. I hope you can spend $100,000 on Bitcoin on PayPal anywhere. Uh, not, not just PayPal, anywhere. And for those, we're going we're to leave it on a, finan- on a uh, political thing real quick. Uh, first of all, watch the Charlie Lee interview from last Thursday. He said he'll return to my, we agreed that he can agree to, he can return to my show only when Bitcoin gets to the six digit realm. Pound that like button for that. But we're gonna we're gonna leave it with a Baltimore related political thing that also involves noise and distractions. I all these dudes, you know, and I appreciate that people realize that I am from Baltimore originally. And so when this Kimberly Classic woman, who is an African-American woman, um, had a viral video showing her walking around Baltimore that she was running uh, for Congress as a Republican against Kwaisi and Fume. And everyone is, it starts contacting me about this. And I talked about it on the Beyond Bitcoin show. And what did I say on the Beyond Bitcoin show? I said she would be crushed. She would raise a lot of money. She would become famous because of this. So that was her goal to use. And she did a great job of becoming a pundit. She's on Fox now. People gave her money. People, who knows what she, she is. But she was crushed in a bit. And that, that's life. <laughs> and, and so there's things that people get overly excited about when it's just like it's not happening. It's not if you know the way on the ground in Baltimore City in terms of in politics, and sure, it's great when a few individuals change their mind, but that's that's a sad thing. Collectivism is the default. M- many people are going to go with that herd mentality, collectivism. They think they should vote a certain way because they are a minority. What I said beforehand, there are definitely plenty of minorities, including, including Kimberly, who don't go with the herd, okay? But – where it's not, it's a gradual thing. If uh, minor, if the Republicans are ever going to like win, really like, ha- have the minorities play a big role in, in their party, it, it's going to be a gradual thing. You're going to notice over time. It's not just going to be this flash in the pan in the middle of of freaking blue state Baltimore, been voting Democrat for hundreds of years, so so long that that someone like that's going to win. But so many people got excited about it and carried away about it. You just have you have to think. You got to use your head. You got to be logical here, and you can't get caught up in these clickbaity type of stories uh, that 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 fit your narrative. There's so many people out there like, oh yeah, this is the turning point here. The oh, oh wow, a black Republican's going to win in, in in Baltimore. Look, no, no, she was crushed. As I said, I think she got 33 percent or something like that. Um, but hey, she. It's cool. I, I respect her in the sense that you can use – I think po- politics is so mindless, and she really used it to become famous, and that's what she that's what she wanted to do. She's a pundit now. She's probably a lot better financially off than, than she was. But uh, in, in terms of uh, – politically, no, she didn't she make, she make big of a difference uh, politically in, uh, in, in Maryland or anything like that, and, and she was crushed. 
And that's it. No one had, no one asked uh, a question the proper way. I can't see it at least. I mean, I just scrolled through it. I'm Adam Meister, Bitcoin Meister, Disrupt Meister. Uh, remember, subscribe to this channel. Pound that like button. And yeah, I, I give her all the credit in the world for, for running. Anyone, if you really want to run, run. And if you're only running to promote yourself, that's fine too. This is America, baby. This is where the big boys play. Freedom is freedom, dude. And uh, I will say hi to you guys in the uh, – I, I, and because politics is not sacred. Do not make politics sacred. Do not make it a sin that joke candidates and freak candidates and people just trying to make money off uh, b b propel themselves in the attention economy – Use politics. It's not sacred. Voting is not uh, next to godliness. Okay, it's not holy. So I, you know, you can't take things too seriously. And that's uh, she. She showed that. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Thanks.